All right. Please let it be salsa. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Got it. All right, Waffles, are we rolling will saves right now? First, I'll pull you on the map. <gasps> dun, oh. Dun, dun. Oh. Show me the map. Show me the map. And the funny plant. Ooh, this map is pretty. Map. Uh, this map is also much larger than you think it is with the heads up, so. Oh, because all the trees are massive, right? Yeah, so these, like, like, smaller, right? yeah. so these, like smaller trees, like, there's, these are bushes. Obviously, they look like they've been cleared out for a little kind of walking path thing. Uh, but the rocks are huge. Like this one rock right here that you get in the, in the middle of the map is basically a small mountain. Like it's it's, it's a solid like 100 foot up. Uh, totally. And then over all of this is a canopy of like very, very large rainforest type trees. This is like the planet Pandora. Just everything's massive and gonna kill us. Mm -hmm. Basically. But things oh, don't look drop guns. Kill them in this, sadly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, it's and like... that's wasp next to him. Yeah, nope. it's like they're very no, small. Dude. I had Zeha and Len or Moat. I forget which next to me. Actually, ideally, I'd have been next to all three. I was next yeah, to think... Moat, and you were next I was... to the other. Yeah, I was, I was absolutely to... uh, like close between everybody and I mean, you know towards the front like you and i were towards the front tetsu because you were actually making the survival check. i don't actually yeah. see tetsu on the map though i don't either i'm waiting oh. for him to pull sorry I, on the map. I thought you were gonna pull me on i didn't wanna <laughs> you think i'm gonna do your Dude, work you suck all right well let me whip out the monsters then too <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Is this like your marching order? Uh, Aizen, you need to move up front. Was Aizen up front? Mean, like, yes, I, think, I was. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Okay. I think Wasp would be further away from us in whatever direction we we're moving. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Len. I was like, oh. All right, you're down to the bottom right in the same marching order. Wasp, yeah. where they are, uh, you'd be going kind of north northwest ish when this plant lets out like you watch this flower just begin to glow very beautiful violet purple it kind of like expands as if it's like blooming and then begins to glow uh, i will reveal the creature and then everybody can click on your token roll initiative and then the will says oh gosh i'll just take we were lied to we said a will say this would be the first thing we wrote. Oh my god, that's a three. I rolled a three initiative. God, they... No, but th that's good, right? Because the if we had rolled the up, will say first, right? that would be a three. That's oh, fair. Oh, man. Three. Um, yeah. I love the flower. I'm not okay with this. It's actually smaller than I expected. Well, it, that's fair. Don't forget that's how the size of the tree is here. I understand. 18. It's still smaller than I expected. I kind of just want to leave this up here. I'm just going to leave this up for a little bit because that's hideous. <laughs> <laughs> so we had, uh, what did we say? We, we had total total plant kill as our yeah. title. Yeah. Uh, I had I had welcome to the fungal. Oh! <laughs> oh that, <laughs> for some reason... Good. We're so good. Can somebody put a vote in Might chat for the name of the, the title for this uh, podcast episode? What it will be. <laughs> Yeah, let's well, do you it. can let's split into two episodes. Well, well, yeah. Well, and, yeah. well, this is happening in the same episode. It, it depends yeah. how long we draw oh, out this fight. <laughs> 20 more spawn in. Yeah, Waffles, keep him coming. <laughs> this is the session now. Fungal throwdown. I mean, to hopefully y'all die at the beginning of next session. Then we can call it total plant kill. No. no. Oh, yeah. I think if, we, if anyone dies, we call this total plant kill. If not, welcome to the fungal. Ooh. Yeah. I agree. All right. We got everyone on initiative. It looks like we're going Dr. Lin, Moat, Tetsu, Plant, Aizen, Zeha. Whew. Now I need Will Says from everybody. Yay! But what if? I roll a persuasion check to try and get me to. The waffles. <laughs> Uh, huh? just because just we were talking about it pre-stream, I'm going to burn that cheeky nuggy. All right. 
I went from a seven to a natural twenty. <laughs> natural twenty. Two nat twenty. <laughs> ah. Very nice. I'm gonna use one of my own chicken nuggets. I have two. I'm using one. Okay. Get wrecked. I'm burning them all. <laughs> there you go, waffles. No, waffles you got them. That's, that's marginally better. It it's is not great, but it, it's marginally better. I think I, I only have one nugget good. left. Um, so let's see what happens when you fail. <laughs> or critically fail. Let's have fun with it, right? Let's do it. Wait, all right. I don't think we critical fail, do we? No, not, not in Starfire. Not like six. below yeah. 10, like... Well, oh, right, right, yeah. right. I'm gonna write that into some monsters, so get ready. No. <laughs> All right, not this one, though. Everybody succeeded except for Mo. <laughs> oh, wow. DC, DC 13. Okay. <laughs> the reroll was perfect. <laughs> oh, my God. Yep. That's nice. <laughs> Waffles well, is so sad. A little sad, a little sad. Uh, Mo, remember on your turn, you have to spend two move actions moving towards this thing. Uh, you're oh, basically goodness. like, you're not, there's no mechanical, you're not mechanically fascinated, but you're so fascinated with this thing, you just want that flower. Oh no. Alright. Fuck <laughs> okay. it. Uh, I, will, I will say it's very, uh, it's obvious that Moat is like somewhat fascinated with this thing, like arms out, almost zombie, you can see they are ready, like, ready to get into a sprinting type of pose. Uh, that said, you can decide what you want to do to do anything, starting with Dr. Lin. Uh, okay, just give me one second, because I have a really bad idea. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, it's gonna Always be good. Great. Uh, okay, hold Is on. it grappling moat? Uh, Even better. I do know that all and of you basically said you have your weapons out. So that's yeah. good. I was yeah. just gonna say, yeah, I, I actively distinctly don't. remember doing that. Yeah, well, you never do, Aizen. <laughs> your weapon okay. not being out is basically your weapon being out. Exactly. Yeah. So I see Moat's right next to me. I see him um, getting ready to like run towards this thing. Uh, real quick, Len's going to kind of like uh, point his device he has, like kind of hooked up to his arm at this thing and is going to pretty much scan it. Uh, it's just within my 60 foot range. So I like take 20 for a, uh, I think that it's going to be a 32 on life science to try and identify it. Okay. I hate you. So uh, OP. <laughs> so OP. Whew. All right. This thing is known as a, probably going to pronounce it wrong. Uh, Vrasinea. Okay. It is basically a carnivorous type of plant. Um, it isn't really a hunter kind of thing. Like, it, uh, it, it doesn't do a crap ton of damage. Like, it, you don't think it's gonna just mop the floor with you guys. It usually lures in single prey. And then when you get a certain uh, certain amount of distance away from it, much closer than the 120 feet of the flower, it lets off this like paralyzing type of aura, toxin spores. Oh, okay. Um, well, Len's going to say to everyone, "Don't get close to this thing. It uh, it releases paralyzing spores." And then he's going <laughs> to turn to Moat and say, "Especially you." And he's going to shoot Moat with them. Um, uh, what is it called? Uh, <laughs> that's going to be a mild hallucinogen. Oh, uh, I, I don't need to roll for this since my medical lab is like attuned to him. So I just kind of okay. pull the trigger on my uh, rifle and just goes into Moat's neck. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, and he is affected by the um, encumbered condition and must succeed at a fortitude save or gain the entangled condition. Oh, okay. You're like you don't move. <laughs> yeah. All right, boat. Give Hard me a four to save, save, please. <laughs> Just put him on a bad trip so he can't move. <laughs> Ten. All right, it was DC um, three hundred. You fit. I'd like to use my, my chicken my no, ability score. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be fifteen. So you are now All right. in encumbered and 
Entangled. Sorry about this. Entangled. All right. All right. Click those on your sheet. I'm pretty sure that means you're not moving. The poor guy just vomits behind his own mask. Uh, it's uh, just... <laughs> with it, with it being a a hallucinogen moat, I'm gonna give you another save against the fascinated condition, like right now, or not the oh, condition, but like the, so much balls. The fascination of this flower, like it's huh. the hallucinogen. I imagine can have, if it can entangle you, it has a chance to knock you out of the flower. Okay. Um, one thing though, uh, encumbered is not letting me click it on the sheet. What does that do? Does that affect my saves in any way? Will. That's a good question. I'm going to check Nuthus right now. Yeah, we'll just do a little check right there. From our good friend Nethus. <laughs> Didn't affect your will. What was it though. that you said? Fascinated or tangled? Which one? What you need? Encumbered. 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 Uh, while while encumbered, you reduce each of your movement speeds by ten feet. Reduce your max dexterity bonus to AC by two, and you take a minus five penalty to strength and dexterity based checks. Jesus. <laughs> now the the de well the max dex bonus to AC is reduced to a plus two. I don't know that that necessarily affects you unless you have higher than that. Yeah, unless you have like a plus five max bonus and that then you have to like take away three if you're yeah. basically if you're getting a plus uh -huh. four from your decks you need to take away two or something like that interesting right, right. it's also interesting that uh entangled also reduces the uh, bonus to ac so yeah that's i don't know that's if the hard part combined? because i don't know i don't know if they would stack or not well, well that either way it doesn't affect my will save so i will roll the will save real quick sure makes sense five okay okay so you still want this flower Oh no! With but you pedals. can't get it. <laughs> yeah, encumbered is like I was gonna try to click it for you. Uh, weird. I can go look okay. it up as well, though. For sure. Uh, yeah. Anything you don't think will stack, let's just we'll talk about it. But it is your turn currently. Can I make a okay. um speech real like like a say something real quick? <laughs> Not a speech, I promise. <laughs> Yeah, go for it. Can I just, like, as this is all going down and um, Dr. Len said, like, don't get close to it, I was like, I'm just going to look around and just, like, just pretty scared. Just, would shooting in this forest, like, make a lot of noise? Shooting tends to, but <laughs> we may need to before anyone else gets sucked in. Okay. Tetsu replies, I'm going to get close to this oh boy <laughs> well then i hope you're well you're a tough guy you have a doctor you do have that pistol that from the dead pew, pew. tetsu looks at the tiny pistol in his hand and goes i do uh he does just not to look make like sure gonna use it <laughs> just to make sure that i uh said this for you though dr lynn um this thing now it's gonna sound like I'm harping on it, obviously. So take that as you will as a player. But this thing doesn't—you got the sense like this thing doesn't usually hunt groups. Like, that's Let, that's okay. not yeah. how this thing operates. Then what does we'll that mean? Put something together and say these also don't hunt alone. So everyone be on your awareness. That being said, that uh, since entangled. Groups. Since Entangled doesn't uh, completely halt movement, um, Moat will go ahead and uh, make two movements um, towards this pretty flower. Uh, and at this point, Moat has heard what Len says. Um, does Moat recognize that this is a, uh, a thing that needs to be dealt with? And does Moat have the capacity to actually say, have wasp make an attack against it or is uh moat not wanting to just dis destroy it a good question that is a solid question <laughs> as the you gm stalls <laughs> that's a solid hmm that's a really good question hmm what should <laughs> i, I say about that question would you like me to make an intelligence check of any sort that could potentially help make the situation more reasonable? Nope. Uh, you just have to make check. two. 
you just have to make two move actions. You're being drawn toward the plant. It doesn't say anything about. Mental yeah, capacity. it doesn't like it, it doesn't say anything about you losing mental capacity or anything. So like if you have if it's a mental action or a swift action, I think you can still take those. Okay, so since you um, did two move, you obviously lost your standard in your move, but if you have a swift, I I don't see anything here that says it like keeps you from acting. It just says okay. this is a mind affecting ability. They must make two move actions. Gotcha. Um, so in in this case, um, Moat has at least mental facilities to tell Wasp, uh, get close and prepare to hit it with some acid shots. Uh, so okay. Actually, if yeah, um, Wasp will go and hover, uh, maybe. Uh, 15 feet off the ground, 10 feet away from it. Uh, something like okay. that. Um, uh, just kind of out reference. of the general reach. For size reference, this thing's uh, about 12 foot tall and Ooh. looks like it weighs like 2,000 pounds. So. Holy gotcha. crap. No biggie. Yeah, no big biggie. Yeah, that's pretty it's big. A, it's a big thicky. But, uh, but yeah, right. Wasp gets within like 15 feet of it to be able to take a decent shot when it gets For over. sure. Tetsu. So, Tetsu. Uh, Tetsu is going to as he. Right, just I'm starts... gonna interrupt you because you suck. Uh, Mo, <laughs> make me uh, another will save. I'm sorry, I love you, Kurt. I don't love you. Seventeen. Oh, there we go. Okay, at the hey. end of your turn, you break out of it. Oh, oh wow, that's strong. Now you may go. Yeah. As, as Moat breaks out of it and realizes that going towards this is a terrible idea, a thundering uh, rhinoceros of a man goes rushing past him, them <laughs> and charges at this thing at full speed. Uh, charge, which gives me two move actions and an attack, as Tetsu rushes past Moat and at the last second, like, uses his jump thrusters to jump up and then, like, Superman punch at this thing at full speed. Sick. Um, so... All right. With another I'm gonna seven. Need you to I'm, make, gonna... I'm gonna need you to make me a fortitude seven throw. Chicken nugget. Okay. Well, before that, then. That was my attack roll, so I'm gonna roll fortitude, and then I'm gonna re-roll yes, my please. attack. Uh, fourteen plus a lot. Uh, twenty-one. You're fine. You're okay. fine. And then I'm going to re-roll my attack roll. I shit. I didn't say the thing I wanted to say. Um. Oh no, it's just when I hit it. Oh no, it's not. Uh, 13. Does a 13 hit this? Against what? EAC, sorry. EAC. No. Oof. No. This uh, is what is. Damn. Uh, yeah. Then that's that's all Tetsu does. He just rushes up, jumps, and goes to slam this thing, and, uh, yeah. that's it. You're in midair, and I think how this makes sense to me like you're in midair you watch this thing just like you hit the 15 foot wall of this scent that it's like emitting and your, your immediate reaction is to pull your arm up which like helps you you make that fortitude save but it throws you just enough off, off balance to barely miss this thing i'll, I'll kind of like sneeze to the pole and go dr len do not come near this thing it's not good i literally just said that <laughs> I, I i i confirmed it <laughs> All right, it's its turn. It lets out this very odd, like chittering, almost screech, like if you rub nails on a chalkboard, because that's really the only sound I can imagine a plant making. Oh no, fair. And that's my doesn't guy. really do anything from the screech, but it does a tip to bite Tetsu. Nice, nice. I have a minus two to my AC. How big is its maw, would you say? Is it like swallowing Tetsu in the process of like fighting him or? You get the sense it probably could if it wanted to, uh, but it's not. It tries to bite down 16 against your KAC. KAC sadly hits with the charge. Rip. All right. You take eight Correct. piercing damage. Ah, oh, that's nothing. Yeah. Minimal yeah. damage feels bad. All right, Aizen, your turn. Uh, 
Funny enough, I think Aizen is going to do the same thing, uh, but doing it slightly differently. Uh, the map is okay. to scale, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, what he's going to do is he's going to run 10 feet, uh, jump, and in the process of jumping, uh, basically charge his body with electricity as it goes through, which gives him like a thrust of like a pop as he like jettisons through the air to about 10 feet away from the creature and then draws his sword with the shock wave and tries to cut it. Okay. You can jump 30 feet, yeah? Yeah. Uh, so it, it will be 10 feet of movement forward and then 30 feet past that. Sure. That brings you very close to about 10 feet of the creature. You have to make any kind of checks or anything for that? Uh, I do. I have to make an athletics check to see that I don't fall in my process of turning into literal lightning All right. as I zap around the thing. Make uh, me that a, check. Cause this it's looks... a DC uh, 15 check. For sure. This looks sick. It looks like you're running right at moat uh, and then you're trying mm -hmm. to jump. Ah! You know what? I'm going to use my last chicken nugget because that sucks and I want this to succeed. Uh, <laughs> Y'all, now is not the seven. time to use all the chicken nuggies we've not even Natural started. One. Natural one. No, this is Much the moment we started. That's going to happen. Look, 21, it's fine. Okay, okay, okay. So I make it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and for everyone else kind of watching this, it, it looks like I was saying, basically Aizen's running straight at moat and just like a little static electricity charge and Aizen's like lower extremities and he goes flying 30 feet. No, please hit me too. Oh. <laughs> You're cut in half. You just slide off. <laughs> There's a delay. <laughs> I'm not a Star Wars youngling. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> uh, yes. One day, Aizen will be able to do the cool, like, light speed slash where people don't know they're dead and he just walks past <laughs> them and then they die two seconds later. The that ultra one anime day. move. <laughs> the ultra. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, so I'm gonna draw my sword. Do I need to make a save 10 feet away from this thing? Uh, yeah, actually. You make it kind of right in the cloud. Uh, which is 15 feet, so. Uh, I need that fortitude save 13, for this 13, so I fail, I think. That might just be it. That, that is be. just it. Nice! DC 13. Uh, would have been bad, but you're good. Success, okay. So then I'm doing my cutting winds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, do some topiary work on this plant. Oh Get it God. into a more pleasing <laughs> shape, you know. Maybe a I'm gonna make giraffe you a or bonsai. <laughs> Just a hack it down. shape. <laughs> we are not taking that on the ship. Ah, uh, nine. Sad. Nine. A lot of damage. Misses. Nine does miss sadly you. <laughs> Let your little shockwave from your sword come out. You see the shockwave kind of like brace itself against one of the limbs. It doesn't get cut. Uh, this thing's pretty tough. I feel it's comical <laughs> comparing the size, right? Like the blast <laughs> from his sword is, is impressive, but it's a very large creature. For sure. Uh, Zeha, it's your turn. I'm going to take this time to remind everyone that if you have spacesuits and stuff on, that helps against breathing stuff in such as the spores it just a plus what type one, of I action believe, is right? it to activate it it should we we have it activated at least that's what i was checking last episode i uh, i would assume we're in like a strange planet it would be on right that's that's honestly y'all's call uh you saw the elves walking around without it it seems that like there is oxygen on this planet uh and most of you would only have enough for a day and day. you know that this trip's going to be longer than a day. I don't think but we would then. It's a standard action to activate. Okay, then yeah. Um, it's my turn already. Oh boy, y'all. <laughs> but my question is, given what Doctor Lens said, um, can I make like that one knowledge check or attempt to see why it's behaving abnormally? Absolutely. Uh, what would that be? Physical science? Life science? Uh, that is life science. I'm trying to remember the difference between the two. Oh, that's uh, life science, basically anything alive. 
So well, that's a natural one for a ten. You don't. <laughs> yeah, this you thing go to is. Med school. <laughs> this thing is creeping you out. Dr. Lin did say, like, you don't even get why Dr. Lin knows about it, but he did say he lives on a planet like this. So, like, oh, yeah, maybe this sense. thing just is about temperate forest. You're from the Adari. You don't have this creature there. So, yeah. I have one as a pet in high school. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so I have no idea if there's anything else around. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. So, from, from my angle, I really do not want to get close to this thing. Um, let's see. I'm going to kind of just share a look with Dr. Len. Uh, well, I'm going to stare at your attached spectacles. <laughs> uh, I Oh, God, I do not like this. Um, okay. And I'm going to very carefully, uh, I, like, as I start stepping away, stay close. And, and I'm going to get a little bit closer. Kind of maybe cut the distance to, to moat if I can. I'm not sure exactly how much that was, but, you know, just a couple... A little bit forward, um, enough to get into range to shoot the thing at the very least. And then... I mean, I'm very useless in combat, uh, so I am just gonna go ahead and lay some... covering... fire... on... Okay. Uh, on Tetsu. I almost said Kirk. <laughs> and, that, and that gives Tetsu more AC if you succeed? Correct, a plus two to AC. Uh, Alright. I'm a little DC I'm a little, 15. Yeah, I'm a little on the scared side, so I think I'm gonna leave it at that. For sure. Give me that attack. Eight, 18. Hey. Yeah. 18. Nice. All right. Tetsu, you see bullets kind of raining over your head. You see this thing like pulling back from them. Uh, yeah, you got plus two AC. Hey, Hal, please don't attack. shoot me again. <laughs> Uh, also, uh, now that Tetsu has felt the effects of those spores, he's he stopped taking in breaths. He's just holding his breath. Okay. Oh my god. For an hour. You could have done that. Don't you know. <laughs> I didn't know. He he wouldn't have known. Dr. Lin said it, but... <laughs> it's okay. Well, that's, he said that's that don't true, go actually. near it. Okay, Dr. Lin, your turn. That, that's fair. Um. Okay. What are, like perception checks to look around yourself in this game? Is that an action, a move action? A swift uh, action? I think it's a swift action, honestly. Unless you're, like, truly seeking. Like, if you were seeking an invisible creature that you knew was around, might be, like, a move action or something. I'm not sure. But right, I'm gonna call Len, it a swift action. Yeah, Len's gonna move up, and then he just wants to, like, survey the area around him to see if there are any things creeping up, as it did kind of sure. give the, like, screech. For sure. Give me that perception check. I would think that it's like, I don't know if it exactly fits under this, but I would umbrella uh, it under that one free, like, check that you get to do. Like a recall knowledge-ish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I sense. think I'll check it and I'll get the 27. <laughs> yeah, you do. Okay. You said it, you have to. I'm, no. Yeah, I'm waiting. Natural one. Alright. Uh, you look around, you don't see anything. It's a sneaky plan. Uh, not seeing anything. Len, Len's still very much on guard is going to quote unquote shoulder his needler rifle and try to fire an AC reducing biohack at this thing. Okay. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> a big nine. <laughs> All right. All right. You guys are doing great tactically, but you can't roll to shoot or hit or anything uh that, yes, that's a that roll 20 problem that's part. not us it goes flying by well he used his natural 17 for a uh perception check all right, all right. when he has uh, betrayed me <laughs> all right all right all right here's where it turns up i took a screenshot so i can show you later dr lynn i rolled a 29 stealth but i also had a plus 10 so i rolled a 39 <laughs> stealth uh, this creature becomes visible above y'all. No, 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 <laughs> yes. no, no, yes. no, yes. no, oh, no, awesome. we're going to die. Oh, Why? What the this hell is, my is favorite. that? Goodness. No. I'm going to go one, two, moat, three, four, Zaya, five, six, Dr. Lynn. No. I'm no, calling moat right now. Ooh. Five six doctor. I was about to call in the out. not in the face, but you know that works. 
<laughs> that is quite y'all. I was hoping that it wasn't gonna be moat. Because he's already Just dealt everything with drops on moat. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Swift action. It comes out of camouflage. Because this so this thing, for everyone not here able to see, uh has like six, seven different little tendrils. And as you guys like look up, you see it begin to uh come out of its it's like this translucent blue almost, and it looks like it can take time to like basically make itself more translucent. It like deoxygenates itself. It, like if, a spider if I web can, it looks yeah, it looks like a stringy, skeleton-y starfish. Uh, yeah. yeah. With and it's, got, and it's got like, yeah, it's got like some jellyfish properties too, because it can it can literally deoxygenate itself and make it like translucent. It moves slower because it doesn't have oxygen, but it can do that. Like that's one of its abilities. So that's what it was doing. It has taken uh, a personal Blue. offense to you, Doctor Len, the other jellyfish ah. in this on this planet. <laughs> Guys, it's my ex. <laughs> I, I, I was about to say, it's either taking offense or deep interest. One or the other. Guys, it's my ex. Okay. <laughs> Whew. All right, all right. Natural 20, natural 20, natural 20. That misses. <laughs> uh, give me a second here. Give me a second. Well, if no. it's swift action, it can't do a full attack, I think. Yeah, no, it can't. can't. Do better. Oh, I, di I didn't think it could. Well, not a, not a full no, attack. No, I was, I was saying to, like, Garrick. What you got? Trying to... Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Uh, Coop, go. you do, however, have find in your pocket another owlbear nugget. Hey. hey. Give it all the moat. <laughs> Thank you kindly. <laughs> Alright, this thing reaches out. Kind of drops the tentacle down 15 feet. <gasps> Does a 20. Hit your KAC. Yes. All right. Uh, it hits you. You take eight non-lethal bludgeoning damage. I don't think that matters right now. Non-lethal. See, it just wants to love you. That's all. Oh, and my. it grabs you. Stuff. Oh, I'm grabbed. Dang it. No. That was its standard action. It uses a swift. So now it's gonna use a move action to attempt to drag you closer to it. No. Oh, oh goodness. It's like 15 feet in the air. It's not like yeah. at the ground level. Yep. Uh, yeah. It's like, uh, yep. It's basically 15 feet in the air. Does a 27 hit your KC plus eight? I think, yeah, my KC plus eight is like 22 or something. Okay. It drags you 10 feet up. So you are now oh, five feet dang dangling below it, basically. And just Does in the air. Doesn't it follow the same... Are we doing where monsters follow the same rules we do for like all the grapple and break checks and stuff, or how's that work? Uh, yes, but this creature has a very a special ability special that ability. allows it, and, and it's stated KC plus eight, so I'm just gonna keep it there. Oh yeah, that's all good. Uh, yes, yeah, there you go. Name? Your... Hentai. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> uh, it's actually named Lasso. Hentai. Right. Same thing. Yeah, all, yeah, all. Okay, you're you took that damage. You're ten yeah, feet yeah. up in the air, five feet from this creature. Mode, it's your turn. Um, cool. So at this stage, by the way, Doctor Len, how long does the um condition last from your hallucinogen? Um, let me check my watch. Ten, like uh, ten six thousand more rounds. rounds. Oh God. Sweet. Wait, um, really? So at least you're not paralyzed. At least you're not paralyzed. Let's see. He's OP. So at, at the very least, an attack is not a dexterity based check, correct? I you think still so. Take a penalty to attack oh, roll. but yeah, I do take penalties penalty. to attack rolls because of attack. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks. Um, Why did you put him at such disadvantage? He would be <laughs> paralyzed right now. He'd be sitting on the ground like, Bye. to be fair, Moat, you could have been. The one it landed on, and it's only Dr. Len's life at what risk. If, what this if, what if, Farso, it lasts for six rounds, but they're supposed to make a save every time, just like the other plant? No, his class is OP. That's not how it works. <laughs> I mean, you uh, can, you, you have checks to get out of a Tangled. 
like you just roll like a like a I think it's a, a break grapple check basically I think it's a KC plus eight again it's the same thing but with, like to break a grapple to break entangled it's all the same thing but it, it's, Even a when it's like a right? mind altering poison effect yeah oh that's true yeah uh he is oh yeah we talked about balls this. right now like I don't know we, we're gonna have to do we're doing a deep dive after this session. Uh, right now, we're going to say it's how it treated my people. Uh, you just stuck with it, Mo but I feel like that's OP for... You had this at level one, right? Mm-hmm. That's strong. Brace okay. the trip, Waffles. Man. Anyway. Um, Drugs are awesome, kids. So Wasp is going to go ahead and take a acid needler shot um, at the uh, uh, creature Tetsu and... Uh, soon to be eyes in her fighting um so that is just going to be a boom a 16 to hit kc or eac uh i believe it'd be kc 16 this is just a uh, dart just misses it's acid. the kc well uh, it I'd... does piercing half piercing half acid I'm pretty sure it's oh, KC okay. too. It's not like yeah. an energy blast or anything. Mm -hmm. All right, sorry. Yep. Yep. Uh, all right, so that misses. Unlucky. Well, I swear to God, I can heal the floor right now. You also see this creature uh, that's above you lash out at you for an opportunity attack, but misses. You're sure it misses? Yeah. <laughs> I wrote a natural one. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. I was going to say, because. I'm sure it could technically roll a success even if uh, uh, it missed right now because yep. KC and EAC are 12 right now. Um, Not with a natural one. True, true. Luckily, that's the way this works. Anyway, uh, Moat tripping balls at this is going to go ahead and fire a pulse caster uh, shot at the uh, tentacle monster um, using the uh, new double tap feature. Um, Ooh. So, Level uh, okay. using twice the ammo for a bit of extra boost of damage, provided they hit. Bum, bum, bum. Seven. Oof. Uh, yeah, seven's not going to hit any of the ACs. Uh, okay. Are you sure? Roll 20. Yeah. Work with us, please. <laughs> please. No, it wants us to die. I think we need it to wants... offer up a sacrifice. See, this is our own I... fault. It, the reason Roll 20 is doing this is only because they want the episode title to be Total Plant Kill. <laughs> That's true. And, I think and, it's giving me all the a, good rolls. And as a swift action, I want to shake out of this entangled. Okay. Give it to me. You know what you got to roll for that? Uh, Fort, right? I think it's KC plus 8. Uh, no, he, he Moat's not entangled by like the monster. Yeah, no, he's stuck with it. This right is now. a hallucinogen, right? Yeah, yeah this is you the drug that right now. can't be shaken off. I can't be shaken off. Oh, oh. Moat thinks that they're trying to do that. Okay, uh, my okay. Over. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> you're shaking. Ooh, Ted, uh, all right. Tetsu. At the beginning of Tetsu's turn, Aizen will call out, "Get to the other side of this thing, so we can kill it quicker." I was, I was, uh, Tetsu. He's not wanting to make a full attack because he's preparing. He he basically just kind of like jets over this thing and like jets to the ground to turn and uh, power like right into this thing's like back. Uh, I'm going to blow all three of my uh, entropic charges to try to smash this thing now that one of the hentai monsters got Lin. Um, okay. So. Can I, can I, I know I'm like shooting covering fire, which is hilarious because I just don't want Tetsu to, to get hit here, but can I just yell out, what, what if, what if it was just doing that f for this one? What if it was just defending itself? Maybe it could help. I don't think I know how to talk to it. <laughs> and I don't particularly <laughs> care. It's fine. It's fair. <laughs> Zeth's yeah. just like panicking. She's uh, like, uh, but what if 23 against the AC. Woo! That so is close hit. to the 20. So close to Knock the 20. Knock its head off. Alright, so it's I'm clean off. blowing all of my... I have three of them and level three, so I can spend all of them. 
So, if I can pick up my D4s, this will be very good. I hope you can't pick up your D4s. All right, there I we go. I hope it's just I impossible hope for you to pick up your D4s. <laughs> it, it was a struggle. Um, okay. So, four damage plus... Uh, four damage plus, uh, that's 12, plus 7, 19 points, and I'm going to make it acid. Uh, or, mm, I'm going to half and half it. Half acid, half blood bludgeoning, because I don't know if this thing's all weird. Um, okay. Is that 19? Uh, yes, 19 uh, points of damage. All right. And my AC is dropped because of it. It hurt. How's it looking, dead? <laughs> nope. Uh, it's it not looking amazing happy. either, but uh, it it hurt a lot. Like you watch Tetsu reel back, boom! Like literally leaves like a fist size that is now melting a little acid into it, uh, like chunk out of one of the large branches of this thing. Uh, I'm going to look at Aizen through this plant after I, like, punched through it and go, I will handle the plant. Go get the tentacle monster off the tentacle man. <laughs> Which okay. one should I try to stab? He says kind of jokingly. <laughs> Shut up and help I me. I think the blue one. <laughs> just, Probably just the blue kind one. kind of jokingly as Aizen would. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you mean? There are eight of them. <laughs> All right. Right. And Derek were confused. Plant's turn. Boo. Uh, it got whopped. It also knows it can't really do much to this horned guy. Bring it's it not a super man. dumb plant. This yes, plant's gonna reason. begin. To move away. It By away, move? I mean closer. That's disconcerting. Oh no! I can oh, do an no. attack on my human right? legs. Can you describe oh. the sound as it moves? Wobble, 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 wobble. <laughs> Squidward. Uh, it can only move 15 feet though, so it's gonna move to here. But I can punch yeah. it, right? Absolutely. All right. Uh, 20 EAC. Nice. Uh, 20 good. does hit its EAC. Alright. Uh, it's <laughs> 1 plus 7, so 8. Okay. Uh, it's it's looking what we like to call half bad. <laughs> half Oof. bad. I do, uh, we do not have to discuss it now, but there is a really cool, uh, API on Roll20 that I recently saw on Twitter being, like, talked about. Where it like has auras uh, attached to their health, so you can like s like visually see the representation of how bad they look instead of us constantly oh, cool. asking that. <laughs> for sure, I like that. All right, we'll look into it for sure. Eisen. Now that this plant has decided to get up into my face, I have to deal with it before I can deal with the squid thing. Um, so I'm just gonna full round action stab this thing since it was nice enough to get up in my face, you know. Just cut it down real quick. Okay. Alright, alright. Give me the full round stab. We call that the slash. Slash. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. That's not great. Uh, 16. Uh, much like Moat. 16 just misses if you're attacking KAC. And I am. I have a plus seven to hit. Mm. Yeah, and it's still below ten, which is a uh, low. What we call below average roll for my. Yeah. Rip. All right, this ain't going well, guys. I can go ahead and tell you. If I get a couple more rounds, it'll it'll look much worse than it is. Say hi, your turn. No, don't make it my turn. <laughs> Wait, I thought you meant it was not looking well for you. <laughs> no. That's not what oh. I meant at all. I'm um, switching to real dice now. I'm tired of this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, oh god, what are my freaking options? Uh, to you can run away. Yeah, I can't. Can't I? Uh, so the 
as this thing gets closer, do its like spores and whatnot get closer as well? Yep, it's just exuding these spores. I have a 15 foot aura on it. It's it's not touching y'all yet. Okay, um, I'm. <laughs> it's not going to help all that much. Um, is I'm trying to see if there's like anything above a guarded step that I can do that will not take any attacks of opportunities or anything like that if they have them. So like, I. What do you mean I, above a guarded step? Like to move further? Yes. Uh, there's like a full withdraw, I think, or withdraw. There is, yeah, there's a withdraw is that my, action. Is that my full action? Yeah, yes. it is. It's a full action to withdraw. Yeah. Yep. Right, 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 right. Okay. Uh, well, that's good. There's, there's nothing that lets you not take opportunity attacks that give uh, that also gives you a shot. Right. Except for a guarded step. Yeah. Uh, there okay. are feats that do it, but they're combat feats. Yeah, yeah. So, so this sure. this thing above us, this uh, skelly jelly, is not within <laughs> uh, r range of me, is it? Like, I can't touch it. No, you cannot touch it. Uh, it's another five feet from you. Its tendrils are 15 feet, it's 15 up in the air, and then you're five feet from it. <laughs> so, like, it, it's got a nice little diagonal five feet away from me. You can't quite reach out and get it. Gross. I am going to... If you want to touch it, you can take a guarded step towards it. Right? That's what I was thinking. So I... Uh... <laughs> I do not like this at all, but I also know that I cannot escape and Dr. Len cannot be caught up in this because he's our doctor. So with the other two far away and I'm going to just have to step up. So uh, I'm Sorry, I was going to interrupt you real quick. Uh, you would also know that just based on the amount of combat y'all have been in, which ain't a lot, but you've watched creatures. Uh, this thing is, all this is happening within six seconds, obviously. So this thing's like, swinging at boat right now you have a chance to move away mechanically it's already spent its opportunity attack got it um well i'll if, okay if it's spent its opportunity attack i'm just gonna go and move my way just further away from the other creature and get to kind of be around here may, may, can i flank okay. even uh yeah i would like since his tendrils are reaching down to the ground i would say you can definitely flank it okay uh so i'm gonna try to like wrap run around it and then, because this is gonna go so great, I'm gonna reach out and try to grasp one of the those tendrils and cast Jolting Surge. Do it. I don't want to, I'm want scared. Thinking's pretty sick. <laughs> Do it, you Look, want. I spent all the bad rolls, you're fine. Okay, all right, all right, here we go. Natural one. Uh, oh. That, Wait, what? what? 19. Oh, 19. I was like, what is spell penetration? Oh, sick. <laughs> I, was, I thought that That's was my a lot roll. of damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like Whoa. this. Does it have spell resistance? Let me look. Really max that would be damage. great. If it does, no, no, no. It, 10 bucks to remove it. does it. because that thing is, because uh, you're rolling spell penetration. So if, it ha if this creature had spell resistance, it could just resist a spell, basically. Right. It does not, though. Yeah. I don't know where that came from, by the way. That I guess it's a. Oh, that is already rolling a, like a an attack for me, like to pass that. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it's like it should be. Not trying to bog everyone down here with rules. It should be a caster level check, which I feel like you should have a plus three to, but you don't. Uh, we'll check that later. Sure. Yeah, I don't even see it listed here, so it just says spell resistance. Yes, so I'm sure it's auto calculated somewhere. We can look at that. Yeah. For sure, Kill for out sure. rules, uh, man. <laughs> you do a lot of damage to this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's it. it's still okay, uh, but you do a lot of damage to it. You watch it. You like reach out and you watch this just electricity go up its tendril and like shock its body. You see it kind of uh, like almost like recoil and vibrate against the electricity. I'm not liking it. Dr. Lin. Now, I will say, scientifically, grappled is a nasty condition in this game. Um, I how do I go about ending this with, like, kind of our homebrew rule? Uh, you can... Yeah, you, it's KC plus eight. I think it's athletics or acrobatics. Uh, it's a melee attack. Right. It's weird. You, you changed Goodness. it to plus four. 
Yeah, you said like, it, plus four to their AC. Plus four if you're doing a full, full, full round. round. Right. Right. Oh, gotcha. Let me run the numbers. But it, I'll, oh, let no. me look it up real quick. It's it's so remember, Dr. Yeah. Len, to their Dr. Len, you roll all point. natural twenties, so you're fine. Yeah. I know you guys uh, are looking it up, but by the way, if it's a caster level check, is that just plus your caster level? It should be, yeah. Then yes, it would be a plus two because I took a level in Envoy. Oh, yeah, that's why. I you forgot, I forgot. You rolled the dice and got that 20 you needed, Lynn. <laughs> I'm scared, y'all. I'm not. Where do you see that? Where do you see it's a melee attack? Eisen? It's it's in the, when you describe uh, combat maneuvers, they say specifically uh, melee attack, I believe. Yeah, it's a, it's effectively a melee attack because I have combat yeah. maneuvers. Myself. I have the cheat sheet uh, for combat maneuver. It's the melee attack roll versus KC plus eight. Does yeah. not. And you can't roll attack. anything else. I thought you could like no. roll acrobatics if you wanted to. Or something. Nope. Nope. Okay, okay. There you go. Okay. Melee attack roll. But then yeah, that'd be I'd be. That'd be like a negative two or something, because I have yeah, zero this. strength. Okay. Or you can roll the full round action, basically. So, yeah. uh, um, go ahead and give me. I'll spend your free action right now. Go ahead and give me a life science check. Seventeen. Okay, you're since you're grappled, you're focusing just on the tendril and stuff. Like you, that's literally all you want to know about. Uh, you know that. I mean, it's it's a tendril. Uh, if you did a certain amount of damage to it, I don't know if you have this kind of damage, but if you did nope. a good amount of fire or slashing damage to it, Ooh. you could get out of it. Uh, I'll also tell you that based on its special ability, uh, DC 23 acrobatics, you could get up. Yeah, I have a plus two to acrobatics. This is not going to work. Um, the other thing I you can do is just... to try to get out of this thing. Len is going to say to Aizen, Aizen, I need you to cut the tentacle. <laughs> uh, and then with like one of his hands, like still kind of grabbed by this thing, he's going to scan this thing with the 32 for life science to see if I can find out anything else about this. Like if okay. I can foretell the terrible fate that is about to befall me. <laughs> You're OP. Uh, you know, this thing is called a sky fisher. No. Uh, it very often cool name. just grabs people from the ground slowly brings them to its mouth and then injects poison and kills them. Mm -hmm. uh, so it does have poison. Uh, its poison is relatively nasty. You can die from it. Uh, it would take a lot of failed saves, but you can die from it. It is possible. Okay. Uh, that's really all you know about it. I told you it can deoxygenate itself. Um, it can grab quite a few people. It can make tendrils on the fly. Like it can, it literally spins these like spiderweb things and creates tendrils. They aren't just attached to its body. It can also let go of tendrils. So it could, uh, you've heard of these things with that, such a high life science check. You've heard of these things flying thing, flying prey up way up into the air that were particularly nasty prey. So like, I think like huge lions or something and then just dropping it. Yikes. Uh, yeah, that's about it. That's all I can really give you. Uh, they also okay. don't hunt groups of people. Yeah, I think we I think we got into the middle of the two of you guys fighting, FYI. Um, at least that's my theory. But can I ask a clarifying question regarding the check that um, Dr. Lem would have to make? You said additionally a uh, acrobatics check, DC 23, right? Yep. Would you still apply the rule for a full round action that we homebrewed for that? Uh, I'm going to say no. Okay. The full round action is because like the melee against KSC plus eight is so crappy, and this just has a flat DC. Okay. It's not like it's not like D, uh It's not like acrobatics against KSC plus eight, which I think is crappy. It's just a DC flat check. Yep. Waffles, you made a grave mistake. <laughs> you said okay. this thing spins spider webs, didn't you? <laughs> uh, no, as it's spider web, spider web type stuff, like y'all called it. Close enough to spider webs. <laughs> okay. okay. Len raises his other hand and will use his uh, biotech Chemical. augment restraining spinneret to <gasps> try and cover this thing with spider webs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
It won't know Wait, what it's so its own like, and what is this new uh, stuff. Roll the six. I'm going to use my chicken nugget to reroll use this. Use that. This one. I'm not caught. Chicken We're nugget. caught. <laughs> Does a wow? Well, it, it's it, it's flat-footed EAC. Uh, hmm? There's a flat-footed right. EAC. Give me, a, give me a second to put flat-footed down. Uh, no. Dang it. Wow. <laughs> Spider webs go wide. God. No. It doesn't. I'm sorry. You cover this thing with spider webs, they just kind of slick off of it as if oh, like. It has resistance to spider webs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They fall on moat. <laughs> <laughs> You're just having I'm a not, trip ever. It's I'm just, not it's sticky. Bad. You're <laughs> sticky. <laughs> it tricked me. Oh, this thing. <laughs> it's playing right. a long con against just you, Dr. Lin. <laughs> all right. See, we're getting all the jokes in before people actually start dying, which is nice. I like it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, got it. it's this thing's turn. <laughs> it's gonna move action attempt to pull Dr. Lynn to its mouth. This thing's like 15 feet off the ground or something? Yep. Uh, and I say, <laughs> I say, oh yeah, attempt, sorry, because I gotta roll an attack. Do you we say attempt, but what you mean is lol. Do we all have yeah, attacks of opportunity? My AC's a deuce. It's not moving. Move you it. have it, but it's it's spending it's just spending a move equivalent action to do something. Okay. Uh does a let's see, I'm doing a four round, so that's minus two. Wait, not minus four? Is it is normally minus four? Okay. Then, yeah. then that's minus uh, four. I, did, I accidentally hit no four round. Uh does a four or fifteen hit your grappled KAC? Not plus eight? Oh yeah, plus eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then no. Yeah, Doctor, um, Doctor Land, keeping me honest. I like it. All right. It is not able. You're like wiggling around, shooting spider webs at it. It's not able to pull you towards its mouth. And that so nice, webs. nice poison. Uh, on the other side of its full action attack, it's gonna attempt to grab Seah. Uh, wait. It did what? a move action, right? You can't do a full round attack. Oh, you, you're right. You're right. Man, oh, what is I'm bad. happening? I'm but so it can't lost. make an attack. Yeah. So I'm the sucking, one attack I'm made against Len is legal, but it had more yeah. bonuses. Yeah. Does the 19 hit your KC plus 8? And it's not going to make a second attack. KC plus 8 is 20, baby. Oh, okay. Oh, spider webs will work. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. Wait, so was it that, like, when it does a. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Man. I hate you guys. Okay. What is happening? Yeah, it hasn't made. Hold on. It hasn't made an attack yet. No, it has. The move action to pull Doctor Lin to its mouth wasn't an attack. It was a move action. It was a move equivalent action. Yeah. You but said it, full round. You can't something. pull around. Yeah, you can't full attack. I know. I don't know why I said full round. I really don't. Oh, I'm, well then. I'm stupid. So that was just a move action. It has an attack. That, yet. Yeah, it has an attack that it's gonna spin on Zaya. Okay, wait, two things. Okay. I'm just roll. Plus eight. Plus eight. <laughs> oh. Um, I'm just saying plus eight. I don't know why. I don't know either. Plus 90. First. Oh, I'm. Nope. Never mind. Can't do this. I did not realize. That's okay. Can't use that in the face. Is it trying to grapple me? Hell yeah. If it hits, it grapples. And then you'll have a chance to like get out and stuff, but Okay, so as long as I am not flat footed, I'm not paralyzed, I'm not staggered, I'm not stunned, I'm not or unconscious, I'm not. I have a plus two bonus to my KAC against combat maneuvers. Okay. Okay. Does a twenty eight hit you? <laughs> and it's my KAC <laughs> plus something or plus KAC plus eight. Oh yeah, plus eight for a grapple. Hold on. But this, oh this is well, no. But this, this is different, yes, right? Because this is different, I right? Because you said it's part of the attack that it grapples, so it doesn't take the like. It's not grappling; it's attacking, and then part of the attack is a grapple. I'm just doing the KC plus eight. Okay. Like I did uh, for Doctor Lin, I did 27 KC plus eight because hey, it, it it attacks and grapples at the same time. So what did you say? My what the attack was? 28. Oh damn it! Okay, yeah, that fucking hits. All right, you take nine. Non-lethal bludgeoning damage. 
And you're grappled. Floating like two feet off the ground. Great. <laughs> These combat maneuvers, man. <laughs> I hate mm. them so much. <laughs> They're chonky. All right, Moat, it's your turn. All right. Um, wasps. Uh, so I'm trying to remember the specifics on uh, the feet that it has. Let's see. Oh, uh, not worth it here. Uh, Wasp is going to fire another acid round at the plant creature. Okay. Give it to me. Bum, 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 20. Bum, bum, bum. So there we go. Uh, yeah, 20 hits. So it is three piercing damage with uh, half of that being acid. Okay. It takes it. It doesn't die. Did something, you watch, guys. You watch this, got this. You watch this little dart boop, stick in it. Burns a little bit. Boom. A small stinging sensation. Uh, meanwhile, um, Moat is freaking out about the um, webs that are uh, consuming them as uh, the multiple tentacle creatures in the sky have begun their... Uh, leviathan battle and um, ritual. <laughs> that too there, there's one pair doing the battle there's another pair doing a uh, mating ritual there's another pair playing poker it's all kind of <laughs> right now um so moat will turn their pulse caster towards the uh uh the one that's closest to len um shoots len which is the mating ritual one by the way and uh we'll go ahead and fire another double tap Okay. Give it to me. 21. As hey. Syrup gets a Albert nugget. That's my hero. <laughs> uh, 21 hits. 21 it is does. marvelous. Yeah, it does the electricity damage. Five damage, baby. Boom. Actually, Six, I five think more it, damage. I think it might be four because weird things with this is I'm not able to put the... Um, I'm not able to just say double the weapon spe the uh, specialization adds right. damage that I think we need to take away, so I think it's four damage. I hear you, I hear you. Okay. Easy enough. Uh, it's not looking great. It's on kind of its last limbs. The big yeah, blue thing? The spider web. No, not the big blue thing. Shut up. Did, oh, okay. did you shoot did you shoot the big blue thing? The big blue thing is what I shot with the uh, pulse caster. Yeah. Oh, okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, Wasp is on the plant oh. creature moats on the uh, Squidzilla. I was like, there's no way the the no. like Doctor Squad like brought this thing about dead. <laughs> no, Easy game. Uh, it, it still looks all right. The big blue thing that I didn't know Coot. was getting shot. You didn't like my scaly jelly yeah. reference? Uh, not reference, <laughs> just name. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um. Moat is just checked out at this point. Uh, those are, you know, uh, Moat has to come up with their own it's stuff. It's Scally Jelly. <laughs> this hey, is the hill that I die good. on. No, Jelly's good. <laughs> Did you say doily? Right. It doesn't look like a doily to me. <laughs> my grandmother just this had one just like not this. <laughs> Tetsu. All right. Tetsu is going to use the jump jets again and do just like a full-on blast charge at yes. this blue thing and go release the len and just <laughs> go me? like supermaning into this screaming <laughs> i only saw len until now <laughs> release the cracklin uh all right let's hope if, uh, this is cool. uh, i don't know if this is this is gonna work um 17 EAC? EAC? 17 EAC. Yeah, well, does that... I don't think it counts as flanking if she's, like, held it in its, like... No, nah, yeah, she's grappled. Yeah. She can't flank. Uh, 17 EAC hits. Nice. Woo! Oh, shit, Wait. I didn't say... Oh. Wait, you said grappled, well, so I can't flank? Yeah. But I flanked with Dr. Lin. I think she Dr. still Lin. can. You weren't grappled. Yeah, but then Dr. You got Lin grappled. was. Oh, gotcha. Oh, well. Uh, 
You're right. Well, I, I, but I don't. I don't okay. think the flanking made you hit, so we're fine. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, ten, ten damage, uh, bludgeoning and acid. So three plus. Okay. Seven. As All I right. punch him and then like fall to the ground, like landing. <laughs> and you break your arm. You can't and punch anymore. Perfect. Nano machines. <laughs> Unlucky. Done. It's the plant creature's turn. The plant creature. No. <laughs> gonna keep moving? No, no. Knock his head off, Eisen. Eisen, Eisen please have a chance. No, no, no. Kill him. Eisen? Oh, do I. I was waiting for it to actually start to move before I make the attack. So I, I did. Yeah, it, start, it starts I moving. Uh, take your opportunity attack. Uh, I, I rolled a five, so plus seven Oof. is twelve. You know something is seventeen. Twelve doesn't do it. Really? Mo and Doctor Lin, <laughs> <laughs> you said that in such a tone. I thought you like actually meant it. You're like, really? Like what? No. Uh, uh, Moat and Doctor Lin, this plant moves and is emitting spores. To where you would have to make Fort Toot saving throw. Eight. That's unlucky. <laughs> Dr. Lane goes limp. <laughs> yeah, this is going to get nasty. But do oh. you breathe, Dr. Lane? We've mm. discussed this. <laughs> Hold on a second. There's a you better chance totally of me making it, so I'm going to use a, a uh, parental nugget Ooh. and reroll oh now is not the time to be eating parenthals where did you get it anyway <laughs> shit <gasps> no well i take the 12. Oh. oof right? uh, that's how nope. it works right nope it's dc nope. 13 yeah. at yep. least but you can't not how it fail, works so it's you're fine it's the same thing yeah you not know how advantage works not advantage, it's, it's, not, a it's not, advantage. not advantage, it's, it's a, a hero reroll. point. Mm -hmm. Hero yeah, point erases your last yeah. roll. And you <laughs> He's trying, the He's trying desperately. <laughs> You're paralyzed, stop talking. I don't want to die. <laughs> All right. Mo and Dr. Lin become paralyzed. Uh. It's about to be Aizen's turn after our break. No. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Waffles, good like, news. You oh, can oh, name, use both titles. Yeah, no. Hey. Why is my AC hey. 5? <laughs> Your AC is 5 because you can't move, bud. You're paralyzed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have hit that KAC plus 8 now. I'm, I'm getting hey, in guys, contact with my lawyer. Waffles. My initiative is a negative 7. Uh, <laughs> 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 As y'all can tell, we're doing so good in this combat. Holy moly. All right. Waffles, can you just have your baddies like attack me for a change? Like, uh, I'm, these, these guys, I'm a giant red fireman. Semblance of intelligence. You know, this, this plant, when you whopped it, it was like, nope, can't eat that guy. I'm moving. <laughs> Fuck this. I just I, wanted a snack, man. I will say that, you know, this may be slightly on our party composition that the only two tanks are like only melee and, uh, you know, the rest of us are left behind. So do we just have to deal with that. <laughs> Wait, so you're blaming us that you're no, I'm blaming captured. the total party. All right, Aizen, let's go. Let's go to the <laughs> festival and yeah. just hang out. We don't need these nerds. All right, friends, we're going to go uh, dry our tears over break and be right back uh, to die some more. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Let's back. Let's kill people. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I did no, want no, to no, no, bring no, up no, one no, very screwed. important thing that I um, see here, huh, which I was looking up over break, which has to do with armor and environmental protections, because one of the previous things that we were looking up when it came to armor protection was for radiation, in which case you get a bonus, a circumstance bonus to saving throws against that radiation. But I was like, okay, but what about 
this kind of thing. Zeha being the pretty, pr pretty, pretty princess. No, prissy, prissy princess that she is. Absolutely um, activated hers, and I mentioned that last session. So one of the things that I was looking up is the how breathing with armor works when it's activated. All armor can facilitate self-contained breathing, protecting you against vacuums, smoke, and thick, thin, and toxic atmospheres, in parentheses, including any airborne poison, airborne poison or disease. It's not a bonus, it is just protection from it. So I do not think that it would affect me if I had it on. I agree. And that's your call to say if you had it on. Everyone's call to say you had it on. It's been like you knew that the travel was going to take half a day and you're going to be there for more than a day. You also know that oxygen works on this planet. Uh, so like if you have turned it on, you, basically what I'm trying to say is you haven't turned it on in the middle of this combat. It was either on prior or it's off. But if you're Prissy Zeha or something <laughs> and you've had it on this entire time. I mean, she's just like terrified of nature like this. This is a different planet. The Adari is far superior, obviously. <laughs> sure. Which, I mean, that makes sense to me, like, think, thinking of, like, the party, like, all of y'all walking, your helmets are, like, off, you're chilling, enjoying nature, and Zeha's, like, fully suited up. <laughs> don't touch that. Oh, no, don't. Mo, do not roll around in the grass. Oh, yeah. Where's the hand sanitizer? <laughs> Guys, if it's not actively we... on fire, Aizen isn't, like, putting it on. Like, Aizen's <laughs> natural state at home is, like, it, it, this is not bad. But as a Guys, I need you to turn your comm units on. You can't hear me. <laughs> But as no, we a can. They are. reminder, you guys can uh, activate that if this is getting in the way for just an action. Uh, as a reminder, they can't because they're paralyzed and going to die. <laughs> Rip. As a reminder, uh, if you can do something as a mental action, you can do it in uh, par paralysis. Ew. That's true. But I that... think about my I... ending doom. No, that doesn't happen. Because you're already dead. All right. As a reminder, Dang it. Eisen, it's your turn. I'm gonna really, like, Aizen is getting pissed off that his blade isn't working. It's not the blade that he'd like to use, but it's the one he has, and he's gonna kill this plant. I don't think plant. it's the blade's fault. Alright, so, let's do this roll 20. Come on, give me one good roll. So we I believe in the, the rock. Plant. Natural one. Come on. Can you smell what Aizen is cooking? <laughs> 23. Nice, there we go. Nice. Okay. I, that that just nice. misses. So 23 to K AC, uh, 12 slashing damage. Uh, what does it look like when you kill this thing? Nice. Yes. He literally just bisects it. Like he's just so pissed off that like electricity is charging up his entire body. And he just uses like his entire force to like do a spin and just bisect this entire plant as it just like slides diagonally off of itself. Nice. Yeah, you nice. slide up, you watch it like fall into two full, very large pieces that kind of shape the ground of the people that are on like Tetsu probably feels the ground shake and Moat as well feels the ground shake a little as this like the top half falls off onto the ground because it weighs freaking 2,000 pounds, but Quay! kill it. Hell yeah. It triggers an avalanche. Yep. Uh, calls its other 10 plant buddies. No. Uh, <laughs> Av Avalanche of death is what the ability is called. All right, say hi, your turn. No. <laughs> the fun okay. begins. So first, I'm going to use my move action, my loving. Well, I. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So to get out of this grapple, um, looking here at my little cheat sheet, acrobatics, escaping, grappled is ten. Uh, is an acrobatics check, 10 plus the grappler's KAC is the DC. That doesn't look too good. That's like a million. Right? So that would this. be reduced with a full round action, right? Based on our, our stuff. Yes, it'd be reduced by four. <laughs> well, so these like are different than the other something. ones, which is ridiculous. Um, okay, yeah, no, I mean, honestly, that's just never going to happen. So, we're gonna do two things. Uh, first, I'm gonna use my move action to actually. Sorry. 
I'm grappled, right? I'm gonna click this so I actually can see. You are. It's nasty. It's not fun. I don't like it. I will use my move action to trigger not in the face. So can you... I think it's a... Uh, yeah, can you make a will save for me? Like the shit no. DC, by the way, because I only have one level in Envoy. <laughs> DC six. <laughs> Does a uh, 12 make it? God damn it. Buy one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, okay. That was a good use. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Feels bad. Okay. I mean, I rolled very poorly, but... Not poorly enough. <laughs> you know, it was... Natural weird. six, don't cut it. It clearly, I'm just yeah, too... Yeah, to will save, so I'm too tasty. I'm like, no, please, no, no, don't hit me. Um, please. <laughs> and it's just like, no. It's like... <laughs> yeah, you're, you're giving ju just the wrong body language yeah. to make it, like, interested in what you're doing. <laughs> Um, I think we're going to do, um, another Jolting Surge. Okay. Wait, I wasn't your in-your-face in action? It was a move action. Alright, and this does not Envoys incur an attack of opportunity, so let's, uh, let's do this. Keep the grappled condition checked just in case it lowers your to hit. Right, for sure. Which it does. I clicked it. It's thinking about Wait, it. Hey, oh yeah, that's a nice. Oof. That's a four. You know what? Mm, mm, mm. Is it? No, it's not. Burn them all. <sighs> is it? Okay. All right. We're gonna chicky nuggy this. This is you, Don. If I make it. If it's not. If I don't make it, it's your fault. <laughs> I believe in you, and I believe wow. in Don. Wow. Don, don't <laughs> give her anything nice. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That was that oh. was a plus nine. Oh, look up. <laughs> Man. Oof. Just that damage. <laughs> well. That's Plus, some good damage. Yeah. It is some good damage. It's a shame. Well, here's the thing, though. It's attacking me. How can it, like, how the fact that I'm grappled isn't, like, auto, it's touching you me. Try. It's... it's a great question that every person that plays TTRPGs and are grappled ask about touch spells, but I yeah. don't know. <laughs> but it's touching me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's touching, touching me. I can just electrocute it. Like, Basically, oh, the, the, the only way I can flavor it is like it has its tentacle wrap like around your arms, so your arms are down by your hips, and you're just like trying your best to get one to touch its tentacle, but it, you can't. But waffles. You probably need to like focus the energy and stuff, you know. Yeah. Getting it's shaking you around. around. Waffles, waffles, waffles. Yes, yes, yes. I have four arms, and four arms make for light work. <laughs> right, it rips two of them off. All right, Dr. Lynn, your turn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I'd like to take the mental action of Existential Dread. Um, my turn ends. Yep. What happens? That's all you can do. Uh, save? Uh, Since this thing's dead, is the poison no longer around and I'm just the, stick and span? The poison is around. What? Oh, oh, Even oh, while it's dead? Damn. Are you serious? Uh, like hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's not exactly what waffles. I meant yet. Let's see. Paralyzed uh, for one round. It happened on its turn. Therefore, on its turn, you'll be unparalyzed. Because it's one its full round. Nine. It's still That's on the tracker. Low. It's under Tetsu. What the frick? Are you serious? That's like 20 yeah. years from now. It's one full round. It entered your body, so you're stuck with it. Feels bad. Well, I'm gonna uh, be I will remind you. You can take mental actions that aren't existential dread, but... Yeah, um, you can also delay your, your turn. Yeah, I, I just got to contemplate death. I don't think you can waffles. delay your turn when you're paralyzed. <laughs> Actually, could he delay his turn? Like, that's not a, like, thing. That's you actively. Uh, could I? Yeah. I think there's a rule against it. Uh, I'm going to say no for now just because uh, that's, like, gaming the yeah. system. Like, you, should, you totally shouldn't be able to that. do that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if, if we find out there's no rule against it, then we'll game Starfinder. <laughs> well, I mean, to me, yeah, like, we'll logically, change the rules. <laughs> I don't... The reason I feel like it kind of makes sense is like you're paralyzed and so you're not moving until like you feel like you can move again and it's still within the turn order so you like round. wait for it to wear off and then you're like okay I can do something. Yeah, I feel like it just it's the purpose of like 
stopping turns. Ba it, 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 that makes sure you don't miss a turn. Like, this right. creature might still get to go before you, but you don't miss any turns. So that, that's why I'm saying no for now, at least. Yeah. Uh, this this creature's turn. And scan the Zeha uh, and Dr. Lin and its tentacles. It Dr. watches Lin's its plant. Easy food. Yeah, it watches its plant buddy die, which is actually probably the worst thing that could have happened. Because now it doesn't need look? now it doesn't need to feed its plant buddy. Is Buddy? No, oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 oh, yes, no, see a nerd. Uh, so it's not gonna do anything with Zeon, just kind of leaves you there hanging, leaving you hanging. Move action, does a 21 hit your KC plus eight? Okay, what's well, five plus eight? Um, 23, <laughs> so no, Oof. but. But that's why that's why Barso failed college. <laughs> they kicked me out on the second day. <laughs> okay, we you take it. no damage yet. What's How up? does Rick, move you action work with, like, with a move action like this? Would that trigger an attack of opportunity from? No, it's a move equivalent action. Would is what they call it. Okay. So basically, you spend a move action for it, but it doesn't. It's not a move action. Right. Got it. Uh, all right, and then it's gonna bite you. No, nope. uh, that's Dr. what it's been wanting to do. Is Doctor Lin oh, adjacent yeah. to me? Oh no, Doctor Lin's fifteen feet up in the air by this thing's mouth because it just uh, moved. He's tall. He's there. tall. Yeah, I'm super tall. If and Moat was standing on down. your horn on their tiptoes, Moat might be able to reach Doctor Lin. So that's a yes. You can use your thing on me. <laughs> can I use both of my reactions to help Lin? No, but Dr. Lin. It's not a natural 20, but I hit. So that's all. That's all. You hit my AC of five? Let me see the roll. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a, nat a natural nine for a 21. What the frick? <laughs> you cheating. <laughs> nope. All right. You take 10 piercing damage. Oh, take that sub in my toe. That's not good. And I need a. I'm going to call it a pretty important fortitude save. Oh, no. oh yeah. Natural. Oh, oh. oh. Yes. oh no. Oh, I finally oh my that. God. Varso, Guys, tell me you have a chicken nugget. Tell me. Arendtho will save you. My arrogance hath struck me down. <laughs> Get him, boy. Get him. Get your first kill, Waffles. Get it. Goodness gracious. No, we're on his arc. We have to figure out. He can't die. <laughs> <laughs> I need him not allowed to die. I need all right. call the Thankfully, Who said armor exists. Thankfully, Thank you don't like. There's no crit fails on poisons in Starfinder because you basically you just dead. Poison. Uh, what does happen is you take four poison damage. And you become weakened. What is that? Uh, I'm do? guessing that reduces fortitude. Uh, no, I don't think so. Victim takes a minus two to strength based ability checks, attack rolls, damage rolls, and skill checks, and the DCs of his spells and his abilities decrease by two. The victim's total carry capacity is reduced by two thirds, and he gains the encumbered condition regardless of how much he is carrying. Okay. And wait, when it says my like abilities DCs are reduced by two, does that include like my like biohacks and stuff? Strength based ability checks, oh. attack rolls, damage okay. rolls, and skill checks. Sounds good. And the DC and the DCs of his spells and special abilities. So if like your biohack stuff is a special ability, then yes. It's an extraordinary ability. I think that's different. Then, I, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm actually pretty sure that is different. Mm -hmm. For a second, I just thought you were like special. being you, Varso, being like, it's extraordinary. <laughs> that, that's yeah. an actual game term. <laughs> yes, Star, Starfinder is we uh, weird about that. They have like three different things they call abilities, and like the top one, like the supernatural or the extraordinary or whatever, is very good. I think it's spell like special and extraordinary, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Moat. 
It's your turn. You're paralyzed. You can take a mental action. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, perfect. So, one question I have for you is what level are spells as determined by caster level? So, for example, if the caster is level 3, what would a variable level spell, what level would it be cast at? Uh, good question. I mean, if a caster, so like if Zeha had three levels of Technomancer, she would be caster mm -hmm. level three. Right. Right. So would she be able to cast second level spells or no. first level spells? First. Just first. Uh, okay. But that's different yeah. per, per casting thing. It is. What? Why are you asking? Uh, one sec. What are you trying to game on me here? <laughs> I think the dog. Uh, uh, Moat is going to use their standard action to cast Mind Thrust. A so special spell-like spell -like ability is mental, right? It it does, it says it, you can take a mental action. If it if it says it requires a standard action, then no, you can't use it. Ment basically, like mental actions are like perceiving, thinking, like that kind of stuff. Like you can't even talk right now. Suffering. You can oh. command wasp, Damn. though. I think. Well, I would have thought that you know, since Moat can't talk anyway, <laughs> doesn't can't talk anyway. It's like I mean, what's the difference? It's not like uh, I mean, they. Can... That's a great argument, but that's a, yeah, that's solid. Yeah. Ba basically, like mental action is a term in the game. Like you can. You can make perception checks. You can think about. You can like identify this thing if you want, like that kind of stuff. That's really all you can do, though. It, it's oh, a type of action, dang. not like a descriptor. Yeah. Um. Would you allow Moat to, um, within the confines of using their custom rig, uh, take control of Wasp, even though uh, that's technically a movement action? No. I'm sorry. Ah, it's, that's some that's some unfortunate uh, uh, Mon monsters only have so much me. to uh, to own up Tender to people. kind of peeps. Yeah. But that's I got, I got to, action to just enjoy the high. <laughs> yeah, just just enjoy uh, your last minutes. But oh god, he's it... both horribly high and like paralyzed, like sleep paralyzed. It must be terrifying <laughs> in his head right now. But it, that that's oh, a move action to Mode take control. Just freaking out. Of wasp, but you can right. still command um, it, right? Wasp Just could, speaking. wasp could, well, is that a swift hmm. action? Because if it is, then no, no, it's it's not, um, it's not technically determined. I I do need to take a movement action to, um, direct uh, uh, wasp to do something uh, on my turn, but um, wasp still has limited AI and can either move or attack. Uh, at this stage, and since the um, uh, plant is dead, uh, I'm not 100 percent sure because I th think if I can't take actions, I don't think I don't remember what's going to act. I want it to take an explosive round shot at this thing. I'm not super sure that it can. I'm going to look that up real quick. I'm going to roll the attack, and then I'll let you know. Um, yeah, for sure. For if uh, that actually goes through. I think it could. I feel like it's. I feel like Wasp is like an animal companion, and the fact that like if you go unconscious, Wasp is still gonna attempt to do stuff. It's twenty three to hit. Ooh. Uh, so, that would hit. That's awesome. So unless, and go ahead and look it up for me. But unless you tell me otherwise, I'm taking off that three piercing and half fire damage. This thing. Not great. Not dead. Tetsu, your turn. Uh, Tetsu totally considers that pistol still in his other hand, but nah. Uh, Tetsu is going to use, uh, hold his attack, use his jump jets to blast 20 feet up, and then just sucker punch this thing uh, right in the the maw that is trying to eat Dr. Lin. Do uh, and I'm going to use my... In I only have one entropic point now from the charge before, so I'm going to use that to boost the damage as Tetsu's fist again lights up with like this purplish black swirl of energy. Now I'm going to ask, you said you spent, you are like, I spend all three entropic forces. Yeah, but then the I plant. use my charge. My charge gives me another entropic point. 
Like the last okay. round. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I hear you. I rolled a four, and I have a chicky nuggy. That sounds like a miss. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know if a Dr. Len's worth it. Um, save me. What's I don't think this will save him. I'm going to save the nuggy for now for something more vital. I'm okay. going to save it. The call has been I made. The it's the Rassinia's turn. The poison wears off because it only lasts one round. No more saves necessary. Eisen, your turn. Uh, uh, Moten, Moten, Dr. Lin are no longer paralyzed. Hey. <laughs> so now they can both scream. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, can I walk? Is there a space here or uh, Moat is like filling the space here? So I have to like move on this side, right? This would work. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't take Moat's space, unfortunately. Uh, so can I attack the tentacle that is holding Dr. Len or is Dr. Len fully like in the thing's mouth at this point? Yeah, doc Dr. Len has been wrapped up like a rope pulling something up to like the roof that that whole tentacle is now up like 15 feet as it is chomping on him uh great i'm just gonna i can attack the tentacle that is holding zeha though correct yeah i'll say yeah please uh i'm gonna do that because it will do damage to it and and i feel like it will do damage to it still like it's a part of its body not like some weird yeah. vestibule thing it's definitely a part of its body okay so I'm going to move up and I'm going to just try to like sashimi cut this octopus. <laughs> okay. It's a jellyfish, but I hear you. I, we, we've been through this. <laughs> it's a skelly jelly, y'all. <laughs> it's a dragon jellyfish. 25 to hit. Hey, there we yes. go. Finally. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry that misses. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I will throw uh, something you, at you. You well. cut Dr. <laughs> Len in half. It hits. And oh, the funny man. thing is... The amount of damage you needed to do to release somebody was 10. Nice. Ah! Hey! Dr. Land drops and breaks his neck. It's not yeah, Dr. Land. You, oh, you, you watch Aizen like, run up. <laughs> Let that a uh, really quick slash kind of di par partially, diagonally, horizontally, and say how you fall to the ground. My hero! Uh, I'm gonna. Give me an acrobatics check real quick. Certainly. Uh, am I no longer grappled? You are no longer grappled. Beautiful. I don't think that made a difference, but you know. 14. Ah. Easy enough. You like are able to like rat, write yourself. You stick three of your four hands down on the ground and you don't land prone. I was going to say, how does my superhero landing look with four arms? <laughs> uh, you're in a four point. You're at, you're in a five-point stance instead of a three-point stance. Absolutely. Sick. Well, it's it's like three-point and two jazz hands at the top. <laughs> so of basically. Like... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you know she's always down for some pizzazz too. <laughs> and you're you're basically a tripod with five legs, and then you're shooting this thing, the bird, with the other hand. Say, oh, now's not the time. Doctor Lin is literally dead. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> Did the slashing damage do more damage, or is it just that I targeted the limb with the slashing? And, and that's it's how that it you targeted the limb. Okay. All right. Is it is it my turn? Uh, oh, it is. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Um. Well, that's that's nice. That's nice. Um. I think I'm gonna see. I think I used two spell slots so far. It's just doable. Um. Well, really got nothing much. I'm very useless. How ooh, ooh, ooh. how is uh Dr. Lin looking? On a scale of 1 to 20, what he, oh, he's looking what? like he's no no, he's he's just reached his stamina points pretty much. Like I, I don't realize... know how to phrase that, but I can't even reach you, can I? Nope. No, he's 15 feet up in the air. Okay, fine. Then the only way to bring you down is with a jolting surge. <laughs> <laughs> On Dr. So Lin. This, <laughs> this, I was about to say, this is actually something I wanted to like talk about. So we said earlier, we're like, 
Oh, I'm grappled, so I'm touching it. It's fine, right? Well, I mean, Dr. Lin's touching it, too, so he would technically take all this damage if we played yeah. by those rules. No, because it's a target, but I hear you. But, I mean, it, it gets electrocuted, so... Because well, then I would be getting electrocuted when I'm jolting somebody exactly. else, so... Does a lightning get bolt get electrocuted hit. when it strikes a person? <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're all... As long as he's really grounded, he's fine. <laughs> I, I promise, I'm clicking on the attack. I clicked it, I hope. Okay. I believe you. That's a, it looks oh. up. Dr. Lan, you are grounded. <laughs> Go to your Why way. are you rolling so good? The natural two. Uh, oh. that's unfortunate. She's, she's like really scared, I guess. I'm dead, I, I'm dead in you. Your, your knights are really role playing it. <laughs> she hasn't done a lot of combat like thinking, I think, so like, so from what I've seen, and feel free to correct me, but from what I've seen is from a GM perspective, is that first attack when she needs to rush up and she's scared, she can get off because of adrenaline, but everything else is missed. Like, the first attack on the plant when you killed it with Jolting Surge worked. The first attack on this thing with Jolting Surge worked. But now that she's had a second to, like, slow down, think, just not happening. That's fair. I you don't think about things. Be That's a dumb dumb like think. the rest of us. Be a dumb dumb like Tatsu. Dr. Lin, your turn. Mm -hmm. uh, I may use a standard action to use diplomacy to inform this creature why attempting to consume other sapient creatures is morally wrong and should apologize. Sure. <laughs> Alright, sick. Do you speak Castrovellian? Uh, <laughs> wait! Oh, I do. No. <laughs> oh, okay. No. I'll wait. translate. Yes, I Just tell do. me what sick. you want to say. <laughs> 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 I forgot, Len used to live here. Um, but what I am going to do, so to use the thing in my arm, like uh, my whatever it's custom micro lab, I can use it as a med kit, but using a med kit requires two hands. And when you're grappled, you can't use two hands. That's true. So Wait, I can't treat myself with poison. <laughs> Those even you if you have four arms. Have, well, oh, no, have you two have arms. four legs. Two, yeah, Weirdo. two prehensile tentacles and then four <laughs> ambulatory tentacles. <laughs> Um, but Len is going to, so can I hold my, um, field dressing, like pretty much injecting myself to heal four hit points? Because I'm only down a single hit point. I want to hold it for when I take some more damage, then I heal that damage, because otherwise I'm going to get nothing out of it. Sure. I don't see why you can't. All you got to do is have a action you want to hold and something that triggers it. So you're like, if, if I lose more HP, I do this. Yeah. If I if I lose three or more HP, I will trigger my action. Okay, and you can do that action uh, with one hand. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I let me actually just double check. Sorry. For sure. I think it's a safe bet that you're gonna lose those three hit points there, but yeah, we really? we go fast and furious until it's life or death, and then we gotta slow down. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can use my custom micro lab to like uh, quickly render medical aid. It doesn't mention that I'm using it as a med kit. It doesn't mention anything about two hands, so I believe okay. so. Sounds fair to me. It's this thing's turn. Oh, uh -oh. I wouldn't get. I got so mad at my attack that I realized I didn't do anything else other than attack. But do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can do something if you want. Can I take um uh, a step like? Guarded step, maybe get some cover around this tree. Uh, you definitely can't get to the other side of it, but you can like you can get away from this creature. Yeah, I know it has That's reach, right. but you know who knows? Maybe it has reach, but it's also 15 feet up in the air, so like it does that. Like it doesn't have that extra five foot of reach. You don't think? Okay. Let's hope. Like if you were under it right now and took that guarded step, it'd still have reach. Okay. But it just wants a meal, so. Now that it has Dr. Lin, Bye, Lin nice in there, it is going to attempt. Actually, it's going to bite Dr. Lin first. Cause... I thought my diplomacy didn't go through. <laughs> you didn't roll it, dude. Thank I you. gave it to you. Oh, I forgot, dude. Dang it. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, we're getting... Misses. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be rough. It could miss. You're not, like, paralyzed anymore. Nah, I've only got a KC of 12. That's like a unhittable. All right. So 27 hits. 
The day I say 12, I meant 28. Slip of the tongue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> running it. Nice. Slip Minimum the damage. You take six piercing damage. I need a fortitude saving throw. And actually, hold on. Goodness. Let's More back poison? up for a second. I need a fortitude saving throw on your turn. Oh, uh, at the beginning of my turn or end? End. Okay, this might just immediately trigger my thing. A nat 20, oh, baby! I, yes! awesome. I am so cool. Okay. There you go. At the end of your turn, the poison wears off of your body. This thing then bites you. I need another 14 second throw. <laughs> another natural 20. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, oh, God. oh, my oh my God. God. What? Len. Len right, is someone, so something. Someone clip that for me. I'm sorry for breaking <laughs> your ears. Oh, that yeah. Was no worries. Skelly, Jimmy, I hate Dr. Dr. Len so much. Goodness gracious. All right. Tetsu lets Dr. Len float away. Uh, Dr. Lin begins floating away as a heads up. Uh, this thing... What I got? What I got? I got... 50 feet of fly. Wait, okay. how much piercing did I take? Oh. Six piercing damage. I, I, I can move four, so... Okay. I can move half my speed when I have someone grappling. I move 25 foot vertical. Tetsu and Aizen can take opportunity attacks because technically they're... At it. Y'all need to kill this thing now. I do not have any entropic. Yeah, I don't have any entropic. That's not what I want to hear, so. Mr. Tetsu. 11. I I did hit, I think. 19 the AC. That's good. So 19 does hit. For 9 bludgeoning and acid damage. Okay. Uh, I not think enough. Looking, I... I knew that. I mean, it's it's rough. It is. Oh, it is hurting very much. Like oh it is oh on its last legs. If you had entropic points, you might have killed it. Or if Instead, I instead it is now, or if I had it. Instead, it is now Thanks, forty feet up in the air. Brian no. gave us guns for a reason. <laughs> Moat. It is your turn. Oh my God. This thing is forty feet up in the air, Doctor Lin, real close to its mouth, in a tentacle. Wasp, get, get in here. Get it, boy. Shit. Um, give me, give me a second. I want to try to make sure I know ranges. It doesn't matter. Just because I think mine, because I think mine thrust is twenty-five foot. Yeah, I can like to. It's a good question. Bum, 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 bum. I'm not looking because I'm trying uh, to kill the Twenty-five foot. Which is, yeah, it's a close range thing. So 25 feet plus five yeah. every two levels. So. Okay, so 30 nope. feet right now. It's 40 feet in the air. It does not happen. Jump 10 uh, feet in the air. Yeah. And that might be levels of the spell, which it's still first level. So I think 25 is still the thing. Sure. So. Unfortunately, it is out of range. Um, oh my god, none not... of y'all have good guns, do you? However, I have one. Um, it doesn't do much damage, but. Yeah, she said good guns, so no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. so uh, Moat is going to control Wasp to fly uh, further towards the um, creature. Wasp has a fly speed of 30, so Wasp can basically be 15 feet off the ground and just fly straight 30 feet, uh, basically hovering above Tetsu, and then Stinger pointing in the air, Explosive shot. Feet okay. Don't famine now. Feet don't Give me now. that explosive shot. Is Wasp the hero we needed? Come on, Wasp. I believe in him. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, God, no. Nugget. I have one more. Oh. Ooh. 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 Oh. Nugget for the natty one. Boy. Come All on. Right. Come on, Wasp. Yeah. Come on, don't Wasp. make me oh, disassemble you. Be a hero. Yes. Oh, yes. Twenty. Oh, the damage Shoot is damage. sad, but it's sad damage. But it's still two damage. It damages, might get it though. enough. It to, might like get it. Well, to get it low enough for somebody else to get a low, like a meager hit on. Yep, because it had four hit points left, so it now has it two has... hit points <laughs> left. Wait, what does explosive do? What does explosive do? Uh, it's half. Um. um Half fire. half fire damage. Oh, but it's all rolled into that? Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. I, I keep rolling you know. ones on my 1d4. I have not rolled above a one on a 1d4 today. 
Okay. Yeah. Or can... Explosive just lets them get over, like, uh, if they have, like, okay, resistance piercing. Still. All right. Freaking out at this point, though, Zeha's going to call out, somebody with a gun that can shoot that thing, come here right now. I would want if To be fair, that is just a movement action for Moat. Moat can also take a shot with the pulse caster at a lower range increment since it's only 30 foot range. Moat could yep. fire basically straight up and uh, attempt to take the shot. I don't know what the penalties are, but that's what uh, Moat does want to try to do. Yeah, minus yeah. two. Yeah, it's minus two every range outside of your increment. And I'm not paralyzed anymore, correct? No. Correct. No, but I you think are you're still, still balls. You're still entangled and stuff. That's fine. That doesn't. Uh, it's ain't weed, well, lad. It hurts, but. <laughs> Come on. <gasps> no. oh, oh, boy, oh, oh, 20. Oh, it feels good. Yes. Yes. I don't think that's do enough you, to do it, guys. You double tap this thing for 14 points. How do you. What does it look like? How do you kill it? Uh, so. Uh, Moat is looking around wildly, and uh, Wasp flies right overhead and takes a shot at the uh, clearly only one enemy, since Wasp can see there's only one. Uh, Moat, realizing that's the one, aims up, gets two fingers on the trigger, double tap a large pulse of energy, follows closely behind the explosive shot that deals a slight singe on the underside of this squid monster and uh, the skelly jelly and um, just zaps it electricity courses through and the thing seizes up as it uh, well drops Len onto the ground below somebody catch him <laughs> I will right, attempt hold on. to if I can yeah we're still in initiative order I think the only person that can attempt to is Tetsu Eisen you're on the other side of Tetsu That's one, that one's going to be hard we're going to we're going to respect the map currently because there's a lot of different things that can happen. What What do you mean on the other side? Like, what are you talking about? Like, Dr. Lane's I, on my, like, opposite end. Yeah, eyes. like like where people are. Oh, we didn't move oh, directionally, just move straight up. No, it, right. it, yeah, it moved straight up. It was attempting to, and, and you had, like, I can move. Um, it, I go up. Yep. Like, I'm getting away. Uh, and then it got shot and died. Tetsu, if you want to attempt to catch Dr. Lin, you can. I Can I use... I have reactive, so I can take two reactions. Can I basically just jump, or I don't know if it's my turn. This, from this isn't, this, yeah, this isn't your turn. We're just doing reactions real quick. Okay. So can I... Okay. Could I, like, do a jump jet to, like, jump up 20 feet to catch him part way and then catch him? Um, and put in both of my reactions to make it easier? No. Zeha secretly casts uh, days on Tetsu and sabotages the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Uh, Tetsu catches him and spikes him in celebration. Nice. Um, <laughs> he splatters. So I thought it was a nat for one, but never fear. It's only a seven. So it's a seven plus mm. what? I don't know. What, it, <laughs> What's like your athletics What's your, or acrobatics? Uh, you got sleight of hand. Well, it's it's the <laughs> oh sleight of hand. Wow. I'll give you athle at athletics. Or, I'll give you athletics or sleight of hand. Okay, athletics. Uh, then thirteen. Okay. You attempt to position yourself in the in the correct position to catch him, and you realize that this jellyfish is coming down very quickly after him, and you're like you're you look up. Your immediate thought is, oh shit. And you take a step back, you don't catch Dr. Lin. You didn't meet the DC. Can I... Dr. Lin. What's up? Bye-bye. Well, can I use my reaction, bot my bodyguard reaction to absorb the damage and just jump on top of him after I, like, flinch? Because I okay. have two reactions. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that. Uh, Yeah, I like that. That's cool. <laughs> Dr. Lin, I'm going to let you roll your own damage. First, I need you to make an acrobatics saving throw. Not saving throw, uh, just an acrobatics check. This is for falling, to see if you take full damage or not. Also, you fell no 40 pressure. feet. 17. Oh, okay. 17 meets it. You avoid Dang. taking the first 10 feet. So go ahead and roll me 
3d6. Okay. That's 11. That's not bad. Oh. You, you take 11 bludgeoning damage. Yikes. Since Tetsu is unable to catch you. But his bodyguard right. okay, I'm looking rough. Thank goodness there's not a giant starfish about to land on me. Yeah. And then the starfish comes falling down. Oh. Which, by the way, uh, pulse casters are non lethal. <laughs> it's still alive. Okay. Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's unconscious. And it hits it's unconscious, and I assume y'all are going to kill it, so that that's all fine. <laughs> I think the fall damage yeah, just yeah. kill it. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Actually, fall damage is non lethal, I think. What? Seriously? No, fall damage. Yep. Is oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. The first 1d6 is non lethal. Gotcha. Okay, ah. yeah. Maybe when I jump off a cliff, non lethal. <laughs> <laughs> non lethal. Woo! <laughs> okay, this thing is huge. So, it's coming down. Tetsu, give me a reflex saving throw. Uh, let's say DC 18. Uh, is this to, like, lessen the damage, or...? Yep, this is for you to take half the damage and Dr. Lin to take half the damage. Otherwise, you're not have... able to position yourself over Dr. Lin. I was gonna say, my bodyguard ability, I have a mitigate, or an intervene function that lets me automatically take half the damage. Okay. That Against sounds perfect, because or... that's what I was gonna do. Yeah, I have a feat for it. <laughs> yeah. It's not an attack, so, but yeah. Give me the okay, reflex yeah. intro. Okay. Uh, I rolled a 16. Oh, it's reflex, not will. Thank God. Uh, 20. I thought <laughs> hey, it was, okay. I was like, I have a plus yeah. one. <laughs> it works. Dr. Lane, go and give me 66. 66? Oh. Jesus. You are it's dead, my boy. Roll like shit. Uh, no, nah, I've got, I've got some health left. And you also have... So that's, <laughs> an roll. That's, a, that's a good roll. Actually, yeah, that's that's not nice. that bad. Wow. That's a no, pretty that's, good that's roll, though. really good. It, it's actually uh, more even because of the two low rolls. No, that's pretty good. 66, what, eight, eight, 18 would be average? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 24 damage, split evenly. Would that have knocked you unconscious, Dr. Dylan? Yes, I have 8 health. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, that would have been... Uh, what's, what's your HP? Uh, 22. I would have. I would have just barely survived. And you would have took some massive damage rolls that we implemented, oh, though. Seriously? Uh, actually, you still do. So, we get Ooh, to have a little hey. fun. Oh, 12 is more than half your HP, so... They say 22, Doc I meant... <laughs> I meant 80. Uh, Dr. Lin and Tetsu, you both take 12 bludgeoning damage as we fall out of initiative order. Some of us more literally than others. Yeah. <laughs> Tetsu, <laughs> having jumped on top of Dr. Lin, slowly pushes up and off with, like, with this massive thing on him. He goes, Dr. Lin, are you still alive? I, I would be Hold trying on. to cut them out as I'm well. sleeping. <laughs> yep. Re real quick before this roleplay happens, because this might change it. Dr. Lin, give me a 1d20. Okay. Another this nat is for 20. our homebrew injury rules we got going on. You don't want a nat 1 or a nat 20. Wait, I don't want a nat That's... 20? Nope. Nat 1's major, nat 20's major, and then it goes moderate, moderate, and then the very middle, a lot of numbers are minor. So. That's all Varsa yeah. rolls. Yeah, I'm going to roll a 20 here. I can't <laughs> help it, Waffles. There, there, you go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's still moderate. bad. Moderate injury. Okay, okay. You don't have bones, though, so this will be interesting. <laughs> I'll, read you, I'll read you the moderate injury real quick. I love because this is a, this is something we've all kind of agreed on together, and it's something that Dr. Lin, if he wants to, can decide his own injury. This will give you something that has a mechanical value to a skill. So basically, like, you are going to lose two points to some skill. You get to decide the injury, and I'll decide the mechanical value. But basically, this thing fell on you so hard that, like, the injury is bad enough it affects something. So, if you want to okay. decide it, let me know. If not, I can come up with something real quick. Hmm. I don't know. Like, I can't think of anything. It's a physical science, right? Well, no. what, it, what if it crushes? <laughs> For sure. 
Sorry, I, do you want suggestions? I should ask. Maybe Constitution, yeah, yeah. actually, because I don't know. Getting crushed might break a <laughs> nervous system or two. I don't really know yeah. how jellyfish <laughs> organs were. <laughs> well, so I, it, I do have an idea. Is it to skill? Yeah, we, we can all throw out some suggestions. Uh, it's It should be a skill, not a like attribute oh, skill. or anything. Yeah. Oh, um, so like acrobatics, computer. Like you can say, my tentacles got crushed so hard that I hack worse now. Like, well, what I wanted to suggest and maybe like acrobatics goes like mildly crippled or something. I don't know. Sure. Yeah. Like, I mean, what, what were you gonna suggest there? Huh? Uh, it's, it landed on you and like affected the. Um, does it have to be to his body, or does it? Could it be to like a biohacker integrated class? Like, you have a thing ingrained in your arm, right? Could it? it yeah, it needs to be to his body, just because like he's got he's got to he's got to be able to rest it off. Well, that's what I was saying. Like he could get it fixed, but okay, because it's in his arm. That's what I was thinking. Gotcha. I mean, that's sure. It's it's definitely a suggestion. I'll let it happen if that's what you want, Doctor Lin. But at the end of the day, it's your choice. I I have one. It's a little funny, but it's it's I have a good one. The, the force of the impact was so great that the gla your glasses got lodged in your system, and now it throws <laughs> off your, uh, like, because you have a blind sense, right? You don't, like, classically see. You feel the area around you, so you take a minus one to perception because you literally have an object lodged <laughs> floating in your head <laughs> from the force of the impact. That is kind of funny. <laughs> like a black stone right in your forehead that protrudes weirdly. Boom. Um. I kind of want to go right. with like a like a limp or something from getting just okay. my yeah. limbs crushed or yeah. something. I don't know. Sure. So you <laughs> watch I, Tetsu, you're able and in the body stuff is a bit <laughs> more major. <laughs> yeah. Tetsu, you're yeah, able to get your body over Dr. Lin's like main part of his body and cover from half the damage, but like one third of this jellyfish creature like lands on Dr. Lin's bottom two feet like two bottom two left feet and doctor when you feel it it like crushes and until you're able to heal it which is like a 24 hour bed rest uh you're gonna have a minus two to acrobatics uh, i cannot feel it as i'm unconscious but i will eventually okay. <laughs> oh no okay so doctor Lin falls unconscious uh and dying technically i deleted the turn order but does anybody have a way to Stabilize them. Yeah. That's you. And uh, yeah. I was sure. Yeah. We're, we're, we'll just say y'all stabilize them. He doesn't have to spend a resolve point. Okay. Yeah. T Tetsu takes out his med kit and just drags him out and starts patching him. I have. Yeah. I think I like pat him out, like cut the like biggest part of the jellyfish so that you could actually move him without like hurting him more as it, like you try to like rip him out from under this thing. I like come running over and pulling out from my bag like serum of healings and med patches depending on what you want. Uh, so am I Meanwhile. conscious or? Yeah, we'll You're we'll stable. say you we'll say you pop up conscious easy enough. Like I don't want to sit here and make y'all wait like in this spot for one hour for Doctor Linda wake up. So. Meanwhile, uh, Moat is trying to direct Wasp to uh, target the clearly still. Um, moving uh enemies in the air sure. uh the copies of this thing uh, uh only to wasp's confusion as there is nothing there uh, and, and uh, this last oh, until the hallucinogen wears off <laughs> yep so like what do you an, mean another, three, there? another three four rounds moats just yelling at wasp to attack the air I, I think if you would start shooting into the air like aizen would just like uh as kindly as possible just hug you to make sure that you don't attract <laughs> like other creatures with right. you just wild shooting into the air just like i'm now okay shipping x move no it's more of like a grappling of like i'm not letting you shoot but i'm doing it as kindly as i possibly can Aizen is a standere. <laughs> tetsu do you have a way to um heal him mechanically you know without these or do you want to use any of these because basically, we can I... save Serum of Healings for in combat if we need to, if we have the ability to downtime, like, take care of this. Yeah. T Tetsu looks at you and goes, well, he is waking up and the doctor, so he probably does. True. I can make him tea. 
Um, it is herbal, so it is good. <laughs> yeah, as Len starts to kind of stir and catch like the end of that, like kind of waves you off. Fine, I um, ow, just landed funny, and I think think it landed on me. That, that thank yes. you, everyone. I, I your can... your leg sack seemed to be squished. I. Sure? It'll, I'll just be walking funny until we can get some downtime. I'm fine. Are you sure, Doctor? Then I. We could take a second. Are you? That was a fall. I mean, I was in its arms too. I get it. I, I, I don't. I don't need any help. We just just rest, please. Can, can we, we sit somewhere? Can we move a little bit away from the ruckus that we just caused? I think that's smart in case it had friends. So can we, um, generally speaking, get get him okay and then limp our way, continuing where we were going? I remember you said that light was starting to uh, come up during, like, it was starting to turn day because we traveled the night. Perhaps get just a little bit closer and then camp and rest. Sure. That's uh, completely fine. I... You guys can tell me if you want to first, like, I, I imagine during all this time you would take 10 minutes and spend a resolve point and, like, get all your stamina back for the people that need it, et cetera, et cetera. Yep, yep. Because yeah, that's yeah. just uh, 10 minutes. Uh, I, I'm using that 10 minutes while everyone is recuperating and getting off their high to search the bodies for, like, they might have eaten oh. someone recently uh, that has value because, like, they caused us a lot of pain and I'd like to get something from them. Sure. Uh, do y'all take so you can take ten on that, or you can roll. And if y'all take longer, you can take twenty. That's all y'all's call. Uh, what what would the roll be? Perception. I mean, my rolls are shit, but is thirteen good? I'm gonna roll. Let's see. If I get nothing, Eisen will just be upset and kill things better next time. <laughs> I don't think either of those. Are, well, I don't think the kill things better. It's true. Eighteen. There we go. Ooh, nice. Better than the thirteen. You're searching through both of them, and uh, your thoughts do ring true. You do find uh, something in the Rasinea. Looks like they ate someone recently. You see, most everything is kind of dissolved away, but you find what looks to be like three fourths of a cred stick. And you get the sense, like, if somebody could repair it over some time, that you could, you could figure out like how much is on it, and that you get the sense it's got, like, it's it's a crit stick that somebody had on them. It's probably got some money on it. <laughs> can I can I use my uh, oh, yeah my sense to see if I can <laughs> just see how much or like what's going on on it? Just pull the money off it. I, just like... sure. I think I think your sense only gives you like what is on it, and you do yeah. you do sense yeah. money on it. Okay, yeah, I did my quick scan is like I don't have to touch it. I could just be near some technological item and be like, all right, what, what you got? Um, for sure. I can. Free I credits. mean, I spend my ten minutes to get my stamina back as well, so I can't do much else. But let's get out of here. Um, at at the end of the rest, can I take like one minute to try and treat deadly wounds on myself to get a little extra health back. Okay. Yeah, what's your is your health stay at zero? Like, what's your health at right now? One, I assume. Yeah, yeah. we're just gonna pop it to one. Do you want All right, a um, healing serum? You can just inject yourself with this. I I don't I don't need your no 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 thing. <laughs> me, uh, me, and me. then he'll try and treat himself. <laughs> uh, this will be DC twenty five to try and get three health back. Can I help? Okay. Uh, Len would refuse your help. And. <laughs> uh, the health. Right. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, with the 16, I fail. Real. Okay. If I, if uh, I no, once you spend the 10 minutes Go ahead. looking up, if there's anything that could be uh, useful from a... I assume Len tells us what these creatures are, uh, but wants to see if there's anything like that can be sold from these creatures that they could pick up and, you know, take. For sure. Uh, from a Vrasinea and a Skyfisher, and... The only thing you think you could have gotten is some of the sky fishers, kind of like a spindle tendrils, because it's very similar to like spider webs. It's kind of like silkish. But Dr. Lin, sorry, my dog's barking. But Dr. Lin would tell you that 
that would re require like a it being put in like a safe biome. Like eventually it's going to deteriorate. Like it's got like a day and it deteriorates, which is why this thing like lets go of its tentacles eventually. Right. It, it like constantly makes new and lets go of tentacles kind of thing. We need a mini fridge for that kind of stuff. Yeah, you you'd need you'd need like a mini biome for it, kind of like what that plant was in at some point. That sucks. Uh, but you got a cred stick. You guys are resting up. That's you just outing there. No. No. Uh, yeah, I'm going to interrupt here and just speed it a little bit along. You guys are resting up. Eventually, you will bed down for like, we're going to call it bed down for the morning. Uh, because the sun has kind of come up, but it, that also gives you better watch around everything. What I want is a life science check from everybody kind of during this rest. And for the sake of it, I am taking my armor off for resting purposes so I don't get fatigue. Uh, sure. And at some point, Len will like inject himself with another field dressing to get some health back. Just, okay, you know. Yeah. And is this uh, like taking 10? 18. Uh, I mean, you guys could, I guess, because you're taking a long rest. This is thinking back on the crew. Actually, no, no, no. Sorry. This is like a recall knowledge. So you can't take 20 on that. Okay. You can't just like, but like you either know knowledge or don't kind of thing. 15. Okay. Hits you. 14. Dr. Lin and Zeha kind of working together a little bit. And since almost everybody rolled over 10, except for Mo, uh, you guys are thinking this over and kind of like Dr. Lin mentions the fact since he rolled so well in the middle of the battle, that these things don't hunt groups of people like they're, they find single animals, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, eventually you guys come to the conclusion of two things. So you're going to get a long rest, enjoy that. And then like during this long rest, you have these two things that come up. One, they were clearly working together to hunt people. Like that's what that call was. It was like, a, hey, I have people near me. They should be paralyzed. Come pick them up. Uh, just based on all the actions you saw, this thing wanted to feed its buddy. Once his buddy died, it was just going to take one thing away and then attempt to eat it. Thinking of that, the fact they went after a group of people, meaning they're probably hungry for some reason. Uh, they, You don't think that they thought they could beat you or anything. It's, it's not 100%. But it's very in the flow of they are adapting to an environment that they're not used to. And that's where we'll end the session. Uh-huh. Dr. Lynn! What did you do? I do that.